Alright guys, well welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, uh, yeah, apparently the prince is just down there on that bridge. But that also means we have to go down there on that bridge. <laughs> uh, so I think, uh, before I jump off and go meet the prince, because now we have a teleport back up here. So I don't have to climb this entire damn mountain every time anymore. I think I'm going to go... Parachute down to the temple in the swamp, clear that, then come up here, go down to the bridge, and then clear that shrine over next to the bridge. I think that'll be a good start for our plan, so we'll make some progress on the story, we'll meet up with the Prince of the Zoras, and get one of the four races on our side, maybe. Also gonna kind of scan down below, see if there's any treasures and stuff to explore as we head on our way. Hey, Jawbreaker! I can see you down there! Oh, I see a mysterious circle of stones and a bombable wall. I'm sorry. The fuck is this? Hinox? That's a really, really big moblin. Really big. Um, largest monster to make its home in Hyrule. Hinox lives primarily in forested areas. Keen awareness of your surroundings is paramount when facing one. Thanks are known for tearing entire trees from the ground and using them as weapons. Deft Hand can steal weapons off the necklaces they wear. Yeah, let's, uh, let's not. Also, have I taken a picture of these dragonflies yet? I have. And the goat? Yep, okay. Ooh, we got a storehouse in here. All kinds of goodies. Um, oh yeah, because I picked up that ice rod last time. Hmm. My god, I'm, I'm just hoarding these weapons. Seriously. Whoop. Not mean to do that. I meant to take a picture. Forest Dweller's Bow. That's kind of cool. Okay, I've got pictures of those already. Also, gotta remember, Woodcutter's Axe, really good on boxes. So that's actually good for me. Let me grab these. Uh, throwing spear. I, I don't really need another weapon at the moment. But, Forest Roller's Bow. Quark's made his bow for Hillian. It's crafted from flexible wood and uses sturdy vines for the bowstring. Its connection may be simple, but it fires multiple arrows at once. Fifteen times three. Um, I'm pretty sure we have a bow we can get rid of for that. Um, I really like this bow because it has sniping. Like, it's better zoom. Um... Lizal bow, soldier's bow. Okay, I'm gonna probably start needing a new bow slot if we start getting bows that actually have unique features like this. Another chest in the water. Ow. Alright, let's check out the Circle of Stones, then we'll see what that Hillock, or High Rock thing is. It's probably going to absolutely destroy us. Also, hello, little suspicious stone. What are you doing over here? Nothing. Nothing. 
Oh, I get it. All right, first off, one test. Oh, I found a lizard. But now I think I know why the stone is here. We complete the ring of stones, and we get a Korok. Am I right? Aha! We're one away from another backpack slot. Like some pillars in the water over there. There's probably some secret to that, but I'm interested in this high rock guy, and I kind of want to fight him before it becomes night. Oh yeah, let, let's let's have a storm start setting in. That that's gonna make this even more fun, game. Thank you for your consideration. Shit, this dude is huge. Alright, because we're fighting him, uh, I'm gonna go stealth suit in, see if I can get a stealth strike on him, and then I'm going to, uh... Once I get the stealth strike, I'm gonna switch to... Yeah, he's definitely an enemy. I'll switch to the soldier suit for defense. God, this guy is huge! He's not giving me a stealth strike. He's got some fucking awesome swords, though. Cut the necklace? Alright, I'm switching full in to uh, armor. Which health does this guy have? Oh, he's got one eye. Oh, okay, so he's a field boss. Alright, we did decent damage to him. Okay, he has a tree. I'm assuming his weakness is the eye, though. We're gonna run. Oh god. There was some. Oh, God, run, Link! Whoa! We just chucking things. There we go. Look at me, look at me. Gotcha. I don't like when he bends over. Okay, so I could probably get some weapons off of him. And get him to bend up. Stop covering your eye. 
knows my strategy now. Damn it! Ow! Oh, that was four hearts of damage. Okay. I haven't cooked in a while. Link, Link, we need to get up. Over the ankles. Woo! Okay, not really good when the camera faces through the enemy we're trying to fight. Okay, that was a shockwave attack, expecting that one. And there we go! Victory! Enoch's toenails, we've got pumpkins. We got durians. Traveler Bow, Traveler Sword, Claymore. It's an apple, right? Yeah. Enoch's Tooth. Hardy Durian. King of Fruits. It offers immense restorative powers. Just as quickly, it will temporarily increase your max hearts. Nice. Um. Oh, hey, we got a Soldier's Claymore out of the deal. Traveler Sword and Traveler Bow. I don't think we need those. Whew, that was a uh, that was a hell of a fight. So apparently, halfway through, he decides, "Okay, you can't shoot me in the eye anymore," and then you have to just go straight for him. All right, let us. Bing. Put that there, so that way, if we ever want to come back and fight him again, we know when to head back after Blood Moons. Whew. That was crazy. Just out here somewhere. Hell's flopping over here. Bugs or something? I don't know. This tree looks suspicious, though. This is probably a Korok tree. Well, that was just a fun monster to fight. Oh, goddamn. Or, uh... Oh, yeah. Let me swap back out of my armor clothes. The armor works pretty well. I didn't take too much damage from him. Come on. Rain... Stop being rain! Ah! Now oh, while we're waiting for the rain to stop, let's have a little snack, shall we? Yeah, so I need to cook some health food pretty damn quick. Because, uh... I don't have a lot of pickings left. Alright, rain is almost letting up. And there's nothing even up here. Hey, Stolfos, I'll deal with you in a second, but first, fireflies! My little money makers. Bitch, 
shooting at me. Ow, who do you think you are? At least you could have done was left me a bundle of arrows. Alright, looks like some Lizolfo have settled into this other area. Is there a treasure chest underneath the bridge? Not a magnetic one. Oh, there is one. Hey, some opal! Sneak. I think you had, yep, one more friend. And stab. Stab again. Ooh, these are new. Fleet Lotus Seeds. Plant that bears these seeds grows near deep water. Roots draw nutrients from the water, which boosts your movement speed when these are cooked in a dish. Nice. Uh, that's a mobile guardian. I'm just gonna leave before that thing spots us. I was not expecting one of those anywhere that wasn't near Hyrule Castle. Um, that's a little dangerous. Hoping there aren't more of them. Any hidden magnet chests? Nope. I like how I'm using the stasis field to scan for any interactable objects, because you can stasis most things, so. Unfortunately, I don't have enough cores. Ooh, that's a new creature. Water buffalo. It is probably going to kick our ass, but we're going to go try and hunt it. Well... New plan. New plan anywhere but here. Ah! I don't like the mobile ones. Level one suck. How did it even see me? All right, here's the plan. Gonna go under the bridge. me on the bridge. It's just, uh, get the hell out of here. Whew. 
treasure of some sort out in the swamp, but I'm just gonna leave it. Fuck it. Yeah, figured it was gonna come back this way. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. I do like the fact that they're just straight up things that we cannot handle. Hello, Random Zor. This is a very dangerous place. You're just going to go tell me to meet the prince, aren't you? Oi. Yes, I already know to go meet the prince. Ah. It's next on my list. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, wow. Or an unfortunate looking Zora? Wow. Insult me much? Mm -hmm. Certainly wasn't just flat floating around and splashing the water for fun. Yes, distinguished Zora royal families waiting at Ingago Bridge, which is the other side of that tall tower. Yep. Oh. Yeah, I know it's top priority. You're like, what, the fourth? Fifth one that stopped me? Perhaps don't tell me you were just playing around in the water. Lizal Boomerang! Add that to the compendium. I don't like the boomerangs though, so I'm not going to pick it up. There are a lot of Lizal out today. But, as usual, the stealth suit prevails. Bop. <gasps> oh my god, you're the cutest little thing, Stone Peblet! Oh, it's adorable! <gasps> you have friends! And therefore, you must be destroyed. All right. Fuck the Boku spear. Take the Lazal spear, and we'll go hit to this shrine. All right. What's our challenge today? When play the sack obtained from defeating Akarox is extremely buoyant. Place one nearby, something you want to lift, yada yada yada. Alright, our shrine is Sunken Scoop. Alright. I'm just going to temporarily turn off the Sheikah sensor, because it's kind of annoying. Alright, so we got a locked door, three of those things, and a basket. So I'm assuming it's just picked up with magnet. Oh. Oh. Okay, then. Okay. Uh, okay, so you can't touch the wall with this thing, otherwise it tilts. Got it. That opens the gate. Alright. Assuming I'm going to need more of these. Oh, 
Or maybe there's just... Wow, maybe it's just that easy. Oop, that's the roof. Hell, depth perception. Jeez. But this this one's sealed off on all sides. Oh wait, hold on. Ah, uh, okay, I see how this goes. Get a ball. Yeah, pick it up. Fit back in the water. Because basically, I just need to let this go. It'll push the button down, which will open the top. So I just need a ball resting, yep, on top of that. Okay. Now that the water's been lowered, there's probably a hidden chest back in this first area's water. Yep. Knew it. Didn't even need my radar. What do we got? Silver longsword. As though prefer spears to swords, they made this two-handed weapon using a special metal. It found popularity among the Hillians for its unique design. Why not? He's trying to throw the spear. There. Alright, we got the silver longsword photographed. Turn our sensor back on just to see if there is a second treasure chest in the shrine. It is quiet, so we are good. That's a cool looking sword. We. Take one more spirit orb. Does this get me enough to do anything with it? How many do I have? I have four now. Five. Oh, cool. I can get another heart container. Yes. Oh, he had like little rings stacked up. My ones. Large cover of size will help you some meat and fish to sustain their bulky frames. Um. Just between winning and losing, I'll be a strategy. With the right tactics, you may able to defeat an entire group of enemies at once. If you see a shoot. A star shoot through the night sky. Mark the place where it lands. You might find something there. Oh, shit. When fire spreads, creates an updraft. I didn't know there was shooting stars at all. Thank you, random tip. And there's probably something on top of that tower. Yep. All right. What else is around this swamp area? There's a sandbar, there's this broken down thing, there's this main island. Um, Telta Lake. I think I'll go away from where I know the crawling thing is. I don't really want to deal with it. Why 
wondering what those little burnt patches in the swamp are. I'm going to check that out next. Damn, wasn't sneaky enough. Oh, they're just lily pads. Oh, another whiz robe. This one looks like lightning. Um, I don't know what would counter lightning. Let's see if we can learn from the album what counters lightning. Spellcasting monsters, lightning rods, hurl balls of electricity, and have been known to cause thunderstorms in the area. The weather will normalize once the Wizrobe is defeated. Smash! They've got like a teleport phase thing. That's kind of cool. Lightning rod. So we found every kind of whiz robe except the one the kid wants. Uh, should I keep the lightning rod? Yeah, you know what? Get rid of this axe. Oh, but well, that's really good for smashing. Yeah, I don't need the smash box. I use bombs. You know what? Screw it. I don't even need wood. Yeah. yeah. Lightning rod. It's not recommended to use as a melee weapon. Magical rod that can shoot balls of electricity. No, that's throwing the rod itself. Don't do that, Link. Oh, that's cool. They have how much travel distance? Pretty good. Zap. <laughs> Poor bird. Rusty Claymore. We've taken pictures of those before. Chest. Still worried that Guardian thing's gonna walk back over here. Purple Ruby! Ooh, we're almost halfway to our house. If I actually just focus down a bit on cooking, I can probably get the house. Which might not be a bad thing to do. Um, there's some stuff on that island. There's got to be something on that tower. Alright, let's put our uh, climbing hat on. One of these days I'm going to remember to bring this to the Great Fairy to have her buff it. Bandana and the extra stamina bar, I should definitely be able to climb all the way to the top of this thing. Yeah, it looks like I can. Yeah, as much as I, you know, would like more health, like, that one stamina bar bit, like, it's paying for itself. Alright, what do we got? Hey, some bomb arrows! Oh, which reminds me... Back to the normal stuff with you. Also... Actually, yeah, that's the shittiest bow I've got. Alright. Alright, so we got that island, which leads back towards where we found the big moblin guy. Oh, there's sunken swamp chests. Alright, let's go see over here, because 
This looks suspicious. Also, I'm really curious about those water buffalo, so I kind of want to see what happens with them. Uh, be sneaky again. Let me get my ass kicked by this water buffalo. I bet you drop a ton of meat. Maybe horns, too. You guys any... Okay, those are just blue herons. Yep. Hello. No, oh, get back here. Damn it. You know, I probably could have just electrocuted that thing in the water. That may have been the smarter choice. But now I'm on land, so I'm a hell of a lot more sneaky than I was before. Ow! Fucking goat! I need to be sneaky here. Not going after you. Also because Crick gets mad at me every time I kill a goat. Two raw prime meat, not bad. Just birds. Did you just actually grab a bug? Huh. That's kind of cool. Chest somewhere on this island. Oh, hey, jeez, you came right out of the grass out of nowhere. Oh, I tried killing him with the tree. Oh boy. Spear, no. Oh, we actually have a storm rolling in. Oh, I see this one. That's a Korok. So, do I need another shield? Wooden shield! Lightweight, simple shield. Excellent fighters, withstand light attacks, but not long, strong bows, not recommended. Oh, I already had a picture of that. Oh, but I'd never picked one up in the world. That's what it was. Yay, we found a Korok. And that gives us enough for an inventory slot. Finally. We just have to go find uh, Hestu again. Do I have a picture of a regular wooden bow? No, I don't, apparently. Treasure chest somewhere over this way. It'll be interesting what an actual storm looks like. I keep seeing these clouds of moss. I wonder if they're. No, they're nothing. Pacific. Oh, there's a Korok in the water. Cap! Yeah. Yeah. 
Too slow. Alright, grab ourselves our Korok. Is there a... Nope, no secret chest that easily. Gotcha! Found me! Another Korok seed. Alright, let's head back over to that tower. Cool. First time we've had a storm. What did that just actually strike? That's kind of cool. You know, running through the water in the swamp seems like a really oh god. What's going on. Ow. Okay. Yeah, I had a metal weapon on my back. Game over with a yellow screen. Interesting. Okay, then. Learn my lesson. Sometimes I can see to strike metallic objects frequently. If you hear thunder, unequip anything magnetic or metal. Thank you. Thank you for that. Ah, and it even shows you on the screen what stuff uh, qualifies. Apparently every weapon I own, except this one. Um, all right, I only have one metal bow. And all my shields are good. Uh, my armor looks okay. Okay. Woohoo! I just watched my own death lightning strike again. Well, I like this little twist. I like the weather effect. Woo! I really shouldn't be in the water. It may not be striking at me, but yeah, being just close, I think, is going to be enough. Damn! Lightning storms are awesome. And oh, Jesus! Oh, that was close. Oh, hello there. Oh, it's a Korok thing. I was just trying to drop a pot off the tree. Another lightning strike. Whoa! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You should. I shouldn't be climbing a tree in a thunderstorm. Part of me just kind of thinks that. Oh, wow! That actually shattered that tree. Does it leave anything cool? Like change it into a lightning struck tree or anything? No. Ah, blocked your arrow. I'm using the shield a lot more now. Ah, uh, no. Oh, cool. I got the arrow off the shield. I was like, I was wondering if the arrow would stay on the shield as like an effect. Um. Okay, this is... I wonder if these enemies, if they're holding metal stuff, if they have to suffer for it. He was just holding a regular boomerang. I'm gonna go grab the skeletal arm, because it's not metal. And I still hate boomerangs. I really just want to watch an enemy get struck by lightning. Whoop. Need a weapon, need a weapon. That boomerang go. Oh, cool! You can just beat them on with, uh, beat on them with boomerangs like swords. All right, boomerangs are better in my opinion now. They're not all terrible. Still not ideal. Wow, it is just knocking over all the trees in this forest. <gasps> Bird eggs. One of these days, like, a gigantic bird is just gonna come down from the sky and be like, You doing fucking with my nest, bitch? Ah! And then I will die. Arrows! 
Ooh, there's a cave. Oh, good, the rain stopped. Or is stopping. Okay, now I can put metal stuff back on. Eh, I'll just keep the boomerang on. Well, that was cool. I like the thunderstorms. They make things a little bit exciting. They changed up the rules a little bit. Oh shit, it's a moblin cave camp. Need something with a little bit more damage to kill these guys in one shot. Oh boy, they heard me. Oh, with the fucking bat. Ow. Okay, this is combat time. Oh no, my claymore broke. Um... Ow! Do I need a new shield of anything? Uh, the hunter shield isn't that great. The traveler shield is better. Wait, whoa, 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 what is this? Durability up. Oh, that's cool. So swords and weapons can have mods too? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Now, well, since the other guy's stuck down in the pit, I'm gonna clean out the camp before I go down and kill him. Holy shit, gold ruby. Hey, our sledgehammer finally broke. They last a very long time when you only use them for mining. No bats to warn you this time. Durability up on a Traveler Sword. I wonder if there's anything special I can do with that. Like, I don't know. Alright, so we've been over there. We cleared out that place last time. Is there anything up this mountain? healing in. Damn, I have a lot of ingredients. Um... There we are. There's the campfire from the Moblins. Look at this, we still have a chest over this way somewhere. <laughs> I like how their eyeball just rolls down the hill. Not sure if I want to go venturing too far back into the swamp, though. Nope, oh, nothing in scan range. Alright, let's head over to the prince, get some progress made. 
and then maybe finish up at the prince's shrine, depending on how long the prince talks for. It's been a fun little episode in the swamp. Kind of lost. Where am I going? Oh shit, I'm going. Oh god, I'm heading back towards where the guardian was. New, no, new, no, new, no, new, no, new, no, new, no, new. No. Why don't we just fast travel back up top? I hate doing it, but sometimes you just gotta fast travel. Do as carnivores they eat meat, fish, even insects. But goblins, I'm never not only meat and fish. I like how the uh, diets actually make a difference. All right, so I'm supposed to head down to that tower. So I'm gonna head down this way first. Glad it's not a thunderstorm. I bet you can't parasail while you're while well, it's thunderstorming, because you're technically the highest object in the area. Well, more or less, you jumped from the highest object in the area. I want that rush room on the way down. <laughs> Hello, Zora. Oh my, how wonderful. You're Hillian, yes? No, I'm not. Oh, oh stop it. I know a Hillian when I see what you're about as Hillian as they come. Apologize for calling you out. Yep. Torfeo. Yep. Searching for Hillian. Yes. I'm well aware of this. Oh. Yes. I will talk to the prince. Seriously. Ooh, big hearty radish. At least just ping the shrine. Thank you very much. Now I have a teleport point. There we go. Let's go talk to the sneaky asshole. Ooh, you have a cool weapon. I would like that. Knight's Claymore. Only the most confident of a real castle. Knights carry this two-handed sword. Its cutting edge is finely honed. Ooh, Lizolfo Tail. Tail Lizolfo. Can you do regular after being separated from its body? And the vitality makes it highly valued as an ingredient in elixirs. Nice. Oh, there's a chest over here. More bomb arrows, good. I was actually really low on those. Claymore registered. Oh, that thing looks awesome. I wonder if it's always going to be like likely or more likely to rain when I'm in the, the Zora territory. I mean, that seems like what would happen. You guys are going to be up there? Is the prince down on the bridge? Okay, good. You're coming down to me. Say hey I don't want to climb again. Up top, above you. <clears throat> Sidon, Zora Prince. Oh, hello. Pardon the entrance, but you're a Hylian, aren't you? I was hoping perhaps you'd have a moment to talk. Hmm. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, a Hylian, I knew it. Oh, pardon me. I'm Sidon, the Zora Prince. Yeah, I kinda guessed. Literally every Zora I ran into within a 50 mile radius was telling me about you. What is your name? Go on, please tell me. 
Link. Your name is Link? What a fantastic name. I cannot shake the feeling that I've heard it somewhere before. In any case, it's a strong name. To be honest, I've been watching you. I've seen the way you work. I can tell how you carry yourself that you're no ordinary person. Yeah, you keep wandering aimlessly and gathering tons and tons of insects for no apparent reason. Must be a strong warrior among the Hillians, correct? Um, not particularly. No, 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 don't be so humble. Don't just by looking at you. I'm a Zora Prince, after all. I have an eye for talent that is unparalleled. Wow, you're humble, too. Yes, exquisite. Been searching for someone like you for a long while. A man like you, Link, who carries himself with power. Right now, Zora's domain is in grave danger because of, a mass of the massive rainfall coming from the divine beast, Varuta. Please promise you will help. We need your strength, warrior. Would you please come to Zora's domain with it, with me? Um, well, I guess it's the main quest, sure. But can I do it in a little bit? I, I kind of want to go clear a shrine so I can get another heart container so I don't die while helping you out. Hey, you Link, you're indeed the man I thought you were. Now Zora's domain will be safe for certain. No time to waste, hurry up and head over. Because of the rain, the cliffs are too wet to climb. To reach the domain, you'll need to go straight along this path. Hillian, I know you're able, unable to swim up the river. As such, the path to the domain will be a bit treacherous. You likely have a tough fight in store. There are monsters up ahead that attack with electricity. Which gets buffed in the rain. Right, so this is teaching us about elemental stuff. Don't give up, but I believe in you. You want to maybe explain more about why you guys can't solve the problem yourselves? So I know why. I have something that I would like to give you. I'm all triggered to show I have faith in you. Electro Elixir. Grants mid-level resistance to electricity. Useful against enemies with electrical attacks. Why, thank you. Its effects do not seem to work for Zora. Perhaps because it's made specifically for Hillians. It should work wonders for you, though. Ah, so you're weak to electricity. That that would explain why you're having trouble with electric monsters. So go on ahead and make sure there is not anything strange going on where you are headed. I'm counting on you. Oh, nice meeting you, Sidon. Maybe your peep and tell your people to stop looking for Hillians so I can walk in peace. Also, I'm totally looting your towers. Yeah, trying to loot your towers. Fucking rain! Maybe I can't just go quickly. If I go slow, I'll, I won't fall as much. The worst part is when I slip, it actually takes stamina. Alright, new plan. might be high enough. God damn rain, I hate rain. Okay, and so because of the divine beast, it's always raining here. That's interesting. Looks sunny just down the road, though. Check out the shrine, and then call it an episode. And then we'll head up the river next time. What challenge awaits me this time? Puzzle? Battle? Who knows? The ingredients give elixir special properties. They don't get, but don't get greedy. Ingredients with different effects will cancel each other out. Minor test of strength. Well then, combat trial. So, we're switching over to the combat armor. That's a long sword. Let's get the 
good bow out. All right. Um, do I have any foods that'll buff me for battle? I have a 13-minute Mighty Elixir. I might just go with the uh, five-minute buff on the crab, though. All right, let's see what we get. First, off. All right, what are we fighting? Please don't have three weapons, please don't have three weapons, please don't have three weapons. Okay, two weapons. Not too shabby. Sword and shield. Alright. 375 HP though, damn. Alright, I do 15 a hit. Oh, there's that spin thing. Yeah, you know, I'm much more confident now that I can actually see their health bar. Oh, the Eightfold Blade broke. God damn it. Alright. How about Broadsword? Oh shit. Alright, these guys aren't too bad. Or this guy isn't too bad. What's he doing? Well, boy! No, no, no! Wait. Updrafts. Alright. Ow. Okay, it's minor damage and knockback. Alright. I was trying to do a jump strike on him. Finish off a fancy. Oh, God, no. That. Oh, fuck. Whoa, there's more than one. Okay. Four shots. Oh, boy. Two. Three, four. Ow! Okay, that's three hearts. Fuck you! Okay, so you just rush them when they do that. I'll take another guardian sword. I love those things. Let's use the traveler sword. Guardian Shield. Shield made of ancient Sheikah technology. It can deflect a Guardian Scout's beam. I'm sorry, what? Oh, Guardian Scout. Oh, I didn't take a picture of this guy. Oops. Um, but I can definitely take that shield. I've got some shit shields. Wow. Alright, well that shield is definitely getting saved for whenever I fight Guardians. And... Go back to the crappy bow. Oh, um... Make sure I get pictures of those things. wasn't too bad. We did pretty okay. Alright. Let's do this. Let's see what our treasure reward is. Hmm. 
Knight's Bow. Holy shit. Sturdy Milk Construction, this bow offers f superior durability, while its lack of firing quirks makes it quite reliable. One of the favorite, one f once favored by the Knight's Hyrule Castle. Well, that is our best bow yet, so let's dump a bow. Okay, the blue line is just that it's equipped. Um... I've been using that one a lot, so yeah, there we go. Very nice. And then we'll take the selfie. Get the bow. Alright, so we got a lot of specialized bows in our inventory now. And the Guardians can be killed, so at least we know that much. We've got a smile upon you, yes. And the top, bottom, and headwear from the same set can earn you some bonus effects. Quagmire that will draw you in, sink you deeply, but only will escape. Training your horse, yep. Raz it deep in the forest, besides a glowing blue spear in the form of a rabbit, skilled enough to hit it with an arrow. Okay, so I have to remember to shoot those with arrows. I wonder if my triple shot bow will get me three times as much rubies, or if that triple shot bow spreads. Actually, you know what? I'm going to test that real quick before we call it an episode. Okay, there is spread. Good to know. Also, actually, one other test. Okay, the arrows shatter. I was like, can I just multiply my arrows with this? But no, no, you cannot. And that's not high enough to actually get me up on top of these. Sadness. All right. Well, I think this is a good place to call the episode, so next time we'll head up river towards, uh... Oh my god, Zora's River's long. Yeah, that's probably the entire episode next time, is going up this windy road of doom all the way up into Zora's Domain. So, uh, we'll see you next time. Leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down below, and we'll catch you for more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild.